everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the 2020 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. Well, I just recently reviewed the 2019 RAV4 Hybrid, but what is new with this one? Although the changes are subtle, but they are pretty welcome changes. So let's start finding out what are the new changes in the RAV4 Hybrid. Now, before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscription button and also make sure to keep the notifications on by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel. So the first thing that you would notice is the blue color Toyota logo which signifies that this is a hybrid car and this step in between now this step is only there in the hybrid vehicle the RAV4 but not the petrol version of the RAV4 so it's it's a bit strange because the this is just a plastic bit but there is nothing like a like a vent or something to cool it off it's just just there so uh, continuing you get the LED headlight cluster and also LED uh, fog lamps the headlight cluster also has the DRLs and the uh, chrome garnishing that you see around the fog lamps now in the previous video of the RAV4 of the 2019 I had mentioned that it looked a little bit out of place but this on this color particularly it this this chrome garnishing looks nice and this this is actually meant to be with this color only i think and again this color is pretty nice more like a pearl effect that you get on the on the surface and during the broad daylight bright day it looks pretty fabulous you get this sort of a uh, gray a grayish uh, for a front grille and at the bottom also you get the grille but that is a uh, black color with the slotted and the parking sensors are in the grille and the bottom you would find this silver plate which uh, which has this angle angle so that whenever you go sort of off-roading you don't damage the the actual bumper on the sides you would see the first thing which is very very shiny and quite noticeable are the rims now these are 18 inch rims but they have this sort of chrome finish onto them they are alloy uh, wheels but then they have the chrome finish but I, I'm not a fan of this like if this was in black this would have just completed the look of this car but anyways it's it's a personal preference and on the side you would find these skirtings in the at the bumper which is there to protect it along with these arches which are uh, provided and also in the doors as well in the bottom you would find these skirtings which are black so these are there essentially to protect the the body of the car when you go off-roading and also these uh, skirtings cover the actual frame of the car so that it never gets dirty and also the hybrid badging that you would find the side mirror is power foldable but it does not come with blind spot warning system although the convexity of the mirror is pretty huge so you get quite a bit of uh, view from the side mirrors and uh, the doors come with auto keyless entry system i'm sorry the smart keyless entry system so the smart keyless entry system is pretty fine i mean yeah works really nice the door handles have this chrome finish but again coming to the smart keyless entry system when you put your hand and you want to unlock the car it unlocks but when you want to lock the car the sensor is actually given on this side of it so it you either have to open it like this and then close it and then press the button or when you don't know why it did that but the placement of the sensor is a little in the inconvenient position i would say when you want to lock the car and going at the back you get this chrome sort of border on the top but it's the black one at the bottom so this whole look of the car is pretty muscular when you see the the there are sharp lines there are the 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 stand is also very aggressive where it's it's it looks like it's one it, it is going to do fair bit of off-roading stuff if i would say there are roof rails at the top and then there is this big huge window now this particular model is a rav4 hybrid vxr so this is the top of the line version and there is another version which is the gxr which is the basic version coming to the back the tail lights are not led but they have just the normal halogen bulbs but the 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 design is pretty cool which is which is what i like about it and the toyota badging again along with the blue colored logo that you see and this silver sort of uh, design 
plastic bit that goes all the way on the on the on the top of it and the toyota badging and the rav4 hybrid badging which you see and also more amount of these black plastic bits that you see they are all there to protect when you go off-roading or when you want to use this car for any purposes other than the usual city stuff so that is a pretty neat uh, uh, thinking around and also the bumpers are also covered uh, as well at the same time so they protect quite and they go quite deep like till the bottom so you can uh, sort of save the the bumpers as well and coming to the bottom you would find dual exhaustives they are chrome exhaustives but there's quite a bit of gap between the actual pipe and the cover but what is even more weird is when you look it from the side these chrome exhaustive they stick out somewhere from half in between and when you see it from the side you can actually see the tips ending and then the normal pipe starting and that is a little bit weird when you look from the side one slight issue is that the rear glass is pretty small comparatively so when you are in the driver's seat and when you are driving you would notice that the actual view is very small when you look up from this uh, rear glass continuing in terms of boot space you get 580 liters of boot space and that is pretty huge because you can pretty much put a lot of stuff in the bag along with this uh, uh, boot separator that you see out here which is retractable but there is no place to put this if you want to remove it uh, there is also a boot loading and unloading light given in the bag so that at night you can see what you want to put or you want to remove which is very easier there's also a netting like like a storage compartment in the back and the the whole boot area is pretty flat so putting and removing your uh, luggage will be very easier along with these plastic scruff plates that been given so this there is a lot of sensibility that has been put in the car because everywhere you see wherever there are chances that you might damage the paintwork there has been plastic covering or scruffing plates or whatever has been put to make sure you don't damage the the bumpers or any part of the car so these seats are collapsible in 60s to 40 ratio so when you put them down you get 1690 liters of boot space and that is immense i mean you can put one big in fact two big bicycles inside along with some more bags and not even that you also get a full size spare wheel tucked in at the bottom so step inside and even the 2020 RAV4 is going to welcome you with a lot of leather touches everywhere so for starting off with the leather soft touch on the dashboard on the sides and the nice brown stitching with the tan leather color by the way the colors on this in this particular interior looks pretty nice because it's got a white color uh, on the outside and then the tan color interiors along with the black uh, the dashboard grayish dark gray dashboard and sort of uh, the standard whitish pearl white color of the roof line but this whole three combination looks really nice the grab handles on the door are uh, the handles actually on the door are uh, on the sides they are covered with uh, the rubber uh, material so that makes the, the the grabbing of the handles pretty easy coming to the dashboard screen you get seven inch uh, multi-informational display in between along with the dials on both the sides which are the hybrid system dials where they show you when the car is charging when it's in the eco mode when it's in the power mode but the multi-informational display you can uh, change uh, much more finer settings like what you want to see from the car coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is uh, adjustable so tilt and telescopic you can do both and uh, on your right side you would find the cruise control which is the normal cruise control not the adaptive cruise control and on the left side you get the volume controls your media controls all of that but i wish there was adaptive cruise control that was provided with this car or at least like an option the ac controls are completely physical buttons for all of this this is the best thing about toyota everything is physically uh, given or laid out into the dashboard and also it's quite easier to operate in a toyota uh, car whichever car you sit into the, the everything is laid out ergonomically everything is right where it should be and even the ac controls they are all manual even the dials they are they have this rubber sort of dial so they are pretty grippy and pretty easier to use and at the bottom you would see the ventilated seat options 
so the seats on both both the driver and the passenger seats are ventilated seats and the overall ac controls are pretty easier to use there is this chunky gear lever which is quite grippy and when you are driving it's pretty easier to locate it ergonomically placed in the right position along with this handrest which is in line with the gear lever next to the gear lever you would find the different driving modes which are your trail mode eco mode uh, sport mode uh, normal mode and the ev mode a bit more into detail when we go for a drive there is also a electronic parking brake and the uh, hill hold assist or normally the hold assist where you are in a driving uh, the traffic light and then you stop and then the car will hold the brakes for you until you step on the accelerator again and coming to the infotainment screen and this big gigantic one which you see in the in the center again this hasn't been changed at all um, i wish there was a bit of better quality now this infotainment screen is an eight inch uh, multi-informational display so uh, the, the, the buttons there are physically buttons given on each of them which is pretty easier to use by the way so also the layout of the dashboard is pretty simple uh, sorry the infotainment system is pretty easy the connectivity options are the for your bluetooth usb hdmi there is a mirror cast so that's an app if you put it in the android now it also uh, uh, in the android as well before it was in for the android now you can put it in the android and the apple phones and then you can cast your phones there is also navigation system navigation system has pretty much improved in this i can see the speed it's snappy it's pretty easier to use now and uh, uh, there is also finer settings that you want to do this car comes with six speaker music system and it's kind of all right i mean sound is pretty decent i would say and there is also a cd player by the way which if you fancy using a cd you can put that now in terms of charging you would find one usb port one 120 watt power socket just under the dashboard and also there is a wireless charging feature that is also under the uh, the dashboard the, under the ac controls actually so it's quite easy when you put the phone it just basically will charge uh, start charging immediately there's also 120 watt uh, socket inside the the handrest and also 120 watt socket behind for the rear passenger but no usb ports in the back there is enough of storage in the door base to put one liter worth of bottles and also on the sides you would find this brown sort of uh, uh design on the on the storage on your left side of the steering wheel and also there is this huge storage out here where you can put your phones and again i don't like this fact that there is brown in it this should have put maybe a black black was just fine but this brown just feels very out of place even there are more brown detailings everywhere near the wireless charger and also and near the cup holders so there are two cup holders in the center and also there are two cup holders in the rear handrest. It comes with the huge handrest, which is enough to put two half a liter bottle or even one big bottle along with this cover. And there is also the glove box, which is quite decent, but it's a little small. Now coming to the seats, but first and foremost, uh, I had mentioned that the color of the interiors was tan, but it's not tan. I'm sorry, it's the beige color interior. So beige color interiors with the brown stitching and even the seats are beige color along with the brown stitching and they are ventilated seats and they are pretty comfortable, especially the, the side uh, support that they've given on this one. They are chunky. So when you sit, you really sit deep inside uh, it and then uh, on a longer journeys it's especially comfortable along with this big headrest where you can just uh, rest your head onto and drive along on a longer journey it's going to be super comfortable so it comes with eight way adjustable uh, control only for the driver but electronically controlled but for the passenger it's manual but it was the same for the previous generation so that is not something which has improved in the back the leather treatment continues with the beige color seats along with the brown stitching for the rear passenger and this big handrest along with the two cup holders but the middle row of seat there is no transmission tunnel by the way like there's very negligible amount of transmission tunnel which is very surprising but yet at the same time pretty good because it feels like a pretty much like a flat surface so when you sit in the middle the seats 
have a little bit of this hump in the middle one because of the handrest and the middle seat also it's got a bit of a hump so when you are sitting it's a little uncomfortable but the all three passengers bear in mind are going to sit pretty comfortably because it's pretty broad in that sense where all the three passengers can sit easily and also you can see the headrest there is enough of it even though the car is sloping and when you sit in the proper seats there is enough of headroom on 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 my on your top side and uh, if you see the leg room there is quite a bit of space space out here and i can put my legs inside comfortably and there is enough of leg room underneath the seats also also the sunroof that is pretty much extended till the back so you can also have an amazing view glaring out from the top and in terms of uh, air conditioning you get two just vents in the back but there is no control for the air conditioning although you can just uh, increase the flow of air and reduce the flow of air or just switch it off completely now just like the 2019 model this 2020 rav4 model comes with a 2.5 liter petrol engine in an inline petrol engine that produces a uh, hundred and 76 brake horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque and it is clubbed to the electric motors dual motors one in the front and one in the back and those electric motors produce 118 brake horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque that they contribute into the whole system now the net output of this system is 219 brake horsepower and this whole system of uh, the powerhouse is connected to a an ecvt which is a planetary gear system so you can do some search but the planetary gear system is where they help to you know increase the efficiency from the system the maximum efficiency by the way coming to the maximum efficiency the claimed average for this car is 22 liters kilometers per liter but then i have so far managed to get 18 kilometers per liter which is really really impressive and the, the, to be honest this car is 2.2 tons and then to be able to do everything yet being efficient is something which is really really fascinating and coming back to the engine the the power delivery systems are working anyways toyota just makes one of the best hybrid systems period because uh, the the it's pretty effortless when when you are to think about uh, the, the 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 smoothness with which the power is delivered from and also it's very especially at lower speeds when you are uh, cruising around in the in the electric motors so it will do up to 40 kilometers per hour it will go on the electric motors and then about 5 to 10 kilometers on the electric charger so this RAV4 comes with five different driving modes your trail mode the normal mode eco mode sport mode and pure ev mode pure ev mode is subject to if there is a battery power available in the batteries and uh, in the especially the trail mode nothing much changes and even when we come to the sport mode there's not much which happens apart from slight bit of throttle response which improves but if you stick the 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 gearbox into the sport mode yeah that's when things are really happening but then again that goes into the manual mode not the auto mode so you have to change the gears now the main changes that are really really visible are the steering first of all the steering is electronic steering and in the last model that i reviewed the 2019 hybrid version the steering was a bit all over the place it uh, and it wasn't even pointy but then in this it's pretty sharp it's it's definitely sharp because i can notice and also because it's electronic steering they've tuned it quite properly because uh, at lower speeds it is uh, easier to turn around and at higher speeds it becomes a little stiffer which is just the way you want the steering to be and the suspensions on the previous car were also on the softer sides in this they are on the softer sides but for some reason there is no role in fact the car has brilliant nvh levels and the comfort levels also to do with the seats which are comfortable but the whole balance of the ride is pretty nice and even uh, 
the car comes with an all wheel drive distribution so this all wheel drive is essentially a front wheel drive in 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 real sense but it's only when the traction to the rear wheels is needed it is only then the car would switch on to the the rear wheel drives as uh, well but otherwise it's traditionally a two wheel drive but fantastic even that works pretty easy and uh, the the it's electronically uh, uh, engaged and disengaged the the rear differential even in my last video i had mentioned in the the the, the hybrid version that the brakes were a little spongy and also they used to make a weird pedal noise and that pedal noise has somewhat been figured out but not entirely the brakes are still a little spongy because it takes a little while to get used to the fact that the pedal travel is a little longer than usual so you really have to dig it in before you would start seeing the the braking action uh, from the car but they are pretty grippy and smooth the safety systems haven't changed a bit so it comes with uh, seven airbags two for the front passengers driver and the passenger two side airbags two curtain airbags and one driver knee airbag and apart from that you get uh, abs system you get isofix child seat mounting points and uh, tire pressure monitoring system uh, there are also parking sensors all around the car there is also one camera reversing system now camera quality has definitely improved uh, on the, on this car especially i think that is pretty much it from the the driving point of view everything is simplified if, especially if you are in a toyota because while driving also uh, all all of your your systems are in place everything is right in front of your eyes and also the ride is comfortable and anyways this is a rav4 and i do not need to explain you a lot coming to the price point the this particular model which is a vxr hybrid comes in at 139900 and the prices have reduced as well the range is pretty good now the range you get is around 800 kilometers 800 to 850 depends on your driving ability how good you are but if you get that that sort of range i mean wow that is that is pretty amazing the base model of the, of this same hybrid version starts at 120000 so even that is not uh, uh 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 far away from the the petrol version of the rav4 so in that case this is this is pretty 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 much in the right mix of things if you can say so again this is a rav4 and i do not need to explain you every other details about it because it's it's what the car it is a toyota it is going to be reliable it is it has one of the best technologies and it has been doing this since many many years anyways that is pretty much it in this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here until we meet next time bye bye